Welcome to the LSE Methodology Institute Stata Tutorial Series sponsored by the LSE Annual Fund. In this video we will be carrying out a simple linear regression analysis. In this tutorial we will show how to run a simple linear regression. The response variable we are going to use is resources. Resources is a statement that says that we are using HUB, the Earth resources, too quickly. The answer options range from 1, no definitely not, to 10, yes definitely. The explanatory variable will be age. Age is the respondent's age in years. To run the simple linear regression, we just have to type in, in the command line, regress, followed by the response variable resources and explanatory variable age and type enter. So now that we have the output from Stata, let's have a look at what some of this output means. First, let's look here at R squared. And this number tells us that 3.64% of the variance of the response variable resources is explained by a regression model. We have adjusted R squared underneath our R squared value, and that has a similar interpretation, but we're taking into account the number of variables we have in our regression model. So let's now focus on the table down here. What we see is resources, our response variable, then age, our explanatory variable, and then underscore cons, which is the constant in our regression equation. Now for age and the constant, we are given the regression coefficients, the standard errors, the value of the t-test statistic, the corresponding p-values, and the 95% confidence intervals here. So what we're interested in finding out is whether or not there's any evidence of a linear relationship between age and resources in the population. And to do that, we run a hypothesis test. Our null hypothesis is that there is no linear relationship between age and resources in the population. In other words, this coefficient here is equal to zero. So we run our t-test. We find that the value of the test statistic is 2.61. We have quite a low p-value, and this gives us some evidence to reject the null hypothesis of no linear relationship in the population between age and resources, and gives us some evidence to conclude that there is a relationship, a linear one, between age and resources in the population. Moreover, because this coefficient is greater than zero, there is a positive relationship, so it means that as age increases, the score of this variable resources tends to increase. If we wanted to make a numerical interpretation of this relationship, what we'd say is for an increase in age of one year, there is an expected increase in the value of resources by 0 0.025 or so. So there you have it. We've looked at the state of output. We've shown you where R squared is. We've looked at this table down here, found the coefficient, run a hypothesis test to show that there is some evidence of a relationship, a linear relationship, between age and resources in the population. So that's all for now. Goodbye.